Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. These are Air Products Integra cylinders. This is an oxygen cylinder, and this one is an acetylene cylinder. And you use them for welding and cutting, and I wanted them for welding, so I got them for welding with a little mixer torch there. So what sets these cylinders apart is that the reg is built into the cylinder in each one, and that it comes with these quick-release couplings, one for oxygen and one for acetylene. So they're quite simple to fit if I do it correctly. Slide this up and push, and that's it. It's as simple as that. There's no snifting or anything like that. Push it in, and you're on. And that's them on and attached. Next step is to open the cylinder. So around the back, there's a knob, and you just open that up. Likewise, on the oxygen there, you can see me doing it. It's better. So here's a gauge on the oxygen for the tank contents and it's a cold day so it's just at the bottom of the green which says it's full pretty much. I've used it for a few months at this stage and uh, it hasn't really gone down because I don't use it very much. Over on this side we've got this knob and that is the regulator adjustment. So with the oxygen, let's, uh, let's open the oxygen, let's open it right up and I'm sure the reg is turned in, so let's open it up. Screwing it in clockwise. Yeah. So screw it in clockwise. And you get that pressure increase there. So we're going from nothing. And look at the scale on this. I want two and a half PSI, or maybe I'm gonna do some six mil, I think. So I'll probably go for for four PSI. That's forty. That's eighty. Can you see that? So I'm trying to get this set to two and a half. So that's that black one there just above my finger is 20, making that one 10, making zero basically where I'm going for. So let's go back again. And there's no way to check that. That needle hasn't moved. So if I go up there now, I think I could see the needle moving. I don't know if that's correct or not. So I'll turn this off again. Now I'm really struggling with this. This is what this video is about. So having a look at the um, acetylene cylinder over here. If I've got that open. Let's open my acetylene knob here. Right up again. So this one should be easier. I'm going for about four psi like it really doesn't matter what i'm going for on the oxygen because i can't see anyways so let's try and get four up here so i'm screwing this in and it's easily adjustable because you see the red scale is psi pounds per square inch it goes up to 36. Um, i'll turn that off now because we're releasing acetylene into the atmosphere i don't really want to waste the acetylene's the expensive gas so you can see that's zero and that's eight 16 24, 32 and 36. So it's easy to dial that into four, which is where I reckon I should be on this. Now this video is not about gas safety. It's not about anything like that. It's simply about these Integra cylinders and how to set the pressure on them. But for this oxygen, I am really struggling, you know. Um, let's just open it up again. That's what the oxygen sounds like. So the acetylene at four sounds less. So let's open the oxygen again. And turn that off again. So that's doing it by ear, listening to them. Whether or not that's a, it's a number 10 tip on that. I've contacted Air Products because this has been going on with me for a while, but I've never thought to ring them and I have done that now. But uh, other than that, like the quick release thing is the feature that got me. The fact that the regs are here. Um, if, if the oxygen reg was the same as the acetylene reg in scale, well, then we'd be away with it. I guess the issue is that this tank is a, it's an extra high pressure tank. It does go up to something like 400 PSI. No, 5000 PSI. There you go. It's 400 bar tank and the acetylene is... Uh, 40 bar tank so they're you know the orders of magnitude I guess are correct in that the reg is 10 times greater of a scale 
but if I was just trying to weld with this and using my old regs and traditional cylinders I would have a more uh, finer adjustment or a reg with a smaller scale smaller range on it maybe that's helpful if you've got any questions or comments stick them below especially comments on this like doing it by ear is one way to do it I don't know if that's ideal uh, let's see let's see if I can capture any welding footage on the video check out the description box below for links to things that I use in the workshop thanks for watching see you later So I have no idea what that looked like on camera, but let's see what the weld looks like. So it's a pretty mixed penetration there. Um, 
beads of penetration but what I've got to say about this is you can see the, the heat sink marks there from uh, where it was resting on the vise what I've got to say about this is that's the most successful weld I've had uh, dialing it in by ear I've been trying to do it visually on the gauges and it was an absolute nightmare so I'm really actually quite pleased with this I'll probably just for practice run along the back of that now myself off camera uh, I'm really pleased with that that seems to work now but it's just strange to me that the Integra cylinder, the oxygen gauge is so bad on it. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, you know, stick them in there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.